let's take a look at our top selections. Hi, everybody. Dan Ullman, Mike Buer, taking a look at the feature race at Monmouth Park on Sunday. It's the local prep for the prestigious Grade 1 Haskell. Let's take a look at the short field for the Pegasus. We're going a mile and a 16th, obviously, for three-year-olds. $150,000 is the purse. And when all is said and done with these lawsuits, Mike, it's quite possible you've got a Kentucky Derby winner in this field. Yeah, true enough. When was the last time the, the Derby winner ran in the Pegasus stand? It has to be a while since that happened. Mandaloon, um, obviously just looking for a bridge to get to the grade one Haskell. Um, they found it here over the, the same track that race is going to be run over, but it's not exactly a, a pushover spot. They had a couple other good horses in here. Let's take a look at the time form U.S. pace projector for this race. Lugamo, based in the Mid-Atlantic region. Uh, this is a horse that we haven't seen since the UAE Derby. He is getting Lasix for the first time. I guess he's going to show speed. Wayburn should be up front as well. I'm not sure they'll be going guns blazing. Yeah, I don't think they will be either. I can see Wayburn certainly being forward. I don't think anybody um, really cares if Lugamo goes for the lead or not. Um, Mandaloon, you know, he's the way the horse to beat in here, Dan, and he's not slow. This is a chance for Brooklyn Strong perhaps to strut his stuff. He looked good winning the Remsen as a two-year-old, albeit over a wet track. He ran on the Wood Memorial in his seasonal debut and just talk about a tough spot. Going nine furlongs off the bench, chasing a fast pace in a race that fell apart. And then they ran him in the Kentucky Derby, a race where he probably just had no shot on paper. This is the first race in a long time where he can be competitive. Yeah, I think that's probably true. I mean, you're still dealing with a horse who, um, in some ways, has to prove um, that that Remsen effort with the 94 buyer is legitimate. I mean, I think it still remains to be seen if it is. Um, but he has just enough excuses for his only two starts this year to make you feel like he deserves at least one more chance. We'll see if this race sets up for him, Dan. He's not a horse who has a ton of speed, um, but I feel like he could still get a good trip from the rail. And I feel like there's a chance that this horse turns out to be pretty good. Judd Mont homebred Mandaloon, when you watch his debut back at Keeneland on October the 24th, the race we're going to show you right now, I had a feeling he was going to turn out to be okay. Usually first-time starters in these sprints go right to the front. Mandaloon's in behind horses. He took a lot of dirt in his face. He's just going to finally bull his way out, and he's much the best in here. And in the Kentucky Derby, Florent Giroux just gave him a beautiful ride. He was able to tuck into the pocket without dealing with any sort of traffic. He went after Medina Spirit three-eighths of a mile from home, just couldn't get by. Yeah, ran fine. Perfect trip in the Derby or not. He still ran fine in that race. Um, obviously a career best performance. Um, I don't know what to say, Dan. He's, he's clearly the horse to beat in here off of his Derby. I mean, I, I have to admit, I was not sold on this horse leading into the Derby. I was not a big fan of his. I realized that he ran very well um, and he's the horse to beat in here. I'm very interested to see how he runs. No surprise that the three, Dr. Jack made it two for two for Todd Fletcher when he stretched out in distance. I think one of his siblings is Idol, who won the Santa Anita Handicap. Let's watch that race from Dr. Jack at Pimlico. Rail very good on this day, and Louis Saez was able to find the inside, turning into the stretch. He whacked Johnny Sack in here. He ran well in this race. I mean, listen, he's run twice. He's two for two. I personally think he's run well in both of his races. I liked his sprint debut. I liked this performance as well. Um, they've obviously found a pretty tough running of the Pegasus to, to you know, take the, uh, take on stakes horses for the first time, Dan. I think this horse has a chance to turn out to be all right. I'm just not sure he can win this race. Wayburn pulled off a 46 to 1 shocker in the grade three Gotham in his first start of the year. Now, remember, that race is a one turn mile. And then in the Wood Memorial, he was part of that solid pace. I know the fractions don't look fast for the Wood, but that was a race in which the closers dominated. And Wayburn was up close to the pace. He only got beat three lengths, Mike. Maybe he has an easier time of it in this race. And maybe he's in front turning for home. Yeah, maybe he is. And if he is in front turning for home, he might be pretty hard to catch. This horse is good, Dan. He's a little bit underrated. Um, his Gotham was good. His uh, his Wood Memorial was fine. As you mentioned, that wasn't a race where he necessarily wanted to be up there contesting the pace. He got very tired at the end of that race, but I think deservedly so. Um, it, it's a you know, it's a little bit of a problem to have to run against a horse like Mandaloon with, you know, all the issues this horse has, has been having. Jerkins wanted to run him in a couple of other spots and just couldn't get him there because he was having issues. So that's a problem. But this horse can run.
Lou Gamo completes the field. He's only had one start this year, and it was a tough one. Shipped him halfway across the world to run in the UAE Derby, and he didn't run very well. Uh, other than that, he's never gone two turns, but the one time he routed a one-turn mile at Laurel, he was an easy winner. Uh, I expect Angel Cruz to be very aggressive with him leaving the gate, but this is a very tall ask. Yeah, we'll see if he can even make the lead in here if they want it, Dan. I mean, he did wire that field going a mile last October, uh, but that was the slowest of slow paces. I mean, he didn't even break in that race, and he still had no trouble making the lead because nobody went in there. Um, he obviously has, has a lot to prove, but this is basically his three-year-old debut, so we'll see what he does. Top pick time for the Pegasus. Mandaloon preps for the Haskell. We think Mandaloon will prep successfully for the Haskell. Looks just a little bit too good on paper. Yeah, I'm just not going to try to beat him. Again, I'm not still totally sold on this horse, Dan, but I'm not going to try to beat him this time. 214 for Mike, 241 for me. It's Mandaloon in the Pegasus on Sunday at Monmouth. Good luck.